This is a short video on Galois-Ax's law. This is the law between gas law between pressure and temperature, and this is a direct relationship. The equation we have for Galois-Ax's law is P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So basically, all this is saying is as temperature goes up, pressure goes up when volume is held constant. So here, volume is held constant. So, short synopsis of this, volume is held constant, so I'm going to draw two scenarios here, my initial and my final scenario, They're the same size box, roughly. Now I'm going to show how if temperature increases, so here's my initial temperature of my molecules inside this box, I'm going to show my molecules increasing by drawing faster speed lines here. So as temperature increases, pressure increases. So if we look at the pressure inside each one of these boxes, the pressure is defined by how often or the frequency that molecules hit the outside of the container. So when the molecules start moving faster, you can see that, or you can reason out that, more pressure will be attained within the, within the given scenario. Alright, so let's do a quick problem on galois Sachs law. So here's the problem. The gas in the container is at a pressure of 3 atms at 25 degrees Celsius. Directions on the container warn the user not to keep it in place where the temperature exceeds 52 degrees Celsius. What would be the gas pressure in the container when at 52 degrees Celsius? So here, I'm going to first list all my variables. So, my first variable is P1, which is equal to 3.00 atms. Second variable is T1, which is at 25 degrees Celsius. P2 is what we're trying to find. T2 is 52 degrees Celsius. Now, remember, we need to switch our degree Celsius or convert our degree Celsius to Kelvin. We do this by adding 273. So T1 here would equal 298 Kelvin, and T2 is going to equal 320. Kelvin. So now all we have to do is plug into our equation. So I'm going to minimize this. And our equation is P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So P1 is 3.00 ATM divided by 298 Kelvin, and that is equal to P2, our unknown variable, divided by 325 Kelvin. I'm going to multiply both sides by 325 Kelvin, so my 325 Kelvin on this side cancels out. Multiply this side by 325 Kelvin. Notice that my units of Kelvin cancel out. I'm left with the units of ATM. When calculating 325 times 3 divided by 298, I find P2 to be equal to 3.27 ATM. And that is my pressure for, uh, that's my final pressure of this problem.